Uh, hello and welcome to the uh, International Juggler live stream. I'm Luke and this is Juliana. Hello uh, everyone. And uh, we're going to be looking through some videos that I've shared over the last month or so. I did We did one of these uh, live streams back in January, which was uh, me showing videos of 11 or 12 years worth of traveling. So yeah, was it 2009 was when I started this project of getting a video clip of me. And uh, at the start of the pandemic, I was like, well, how many video clips do I have? Because I wanted to share some. And it turns out I've got two and a half thousand, like 2,600 video clips of wow. a collector of me juggling in all these different places around the world. And I shared all of the video clips in order. It was one of the did that, I did. well, not the old video clips. I shared every new country that I visited in order. Yes. And then I shared another series, which was interesting modes of transport. So it was boats on every other day and then other transport kind of things on every uh, on the alternate days. And then I did um, bridges because I thought that was an oh, interesting yes. thing. The idea was that I was going to do bridges versus waterfalls, but it turns out I had like 40, bridge, 40 videos of me juggling on or, or next in, to, front of. in front of bridges. Yes. And so I thought, well, the next one is going to be waterfalls, which instead of doing bridges versus waterfalls. And, uh, and then I worked out, ah, there's some interesting waterfalls, but what's kind of like a waterfall? A fountain. fountain. So I decided to bring in, well, some fountains are a little bit like waterfalls, but yeah. actually the way it works is that uh, man-made water features plus uh, nature made water features um, or are they always uh, some of them some of them are man-made some of them are natural <laughs> some fountains are natural and some waterfalls are ah, man-made man -made. yeah so let's, let's check those ones out um so uh, and it all started off let's actually switch over to the thing where we can actually see uh, what's going on over here and i can just press play here hopefully you'll be able to maybe hear some of the some of the stuff in the background you can tell that i made this one in uh, 2011 because in 2011 i put a, a ball on the top of my head okay so here's the here's the thing this was the final video in the bridges series and it's the first video it has a bridge in it in in the uh, in this one because it's got it this, also has it's got this bridge here uh the juggling by the benson footbridge at the multnomah falls now here's the thing me and juliana spent um eight days in um in Iceland a few years ago in 2016 we we're going to yes. show some of those and we vlogged while we were there was, I was experimenting with like daily vlogging and I put out a five minute video series there and what we did is something interesting for the vlog and also something interesting just for just for the two of us uh, in terms of uh, us having a, a fun a fun um, trip was that we rated out of 10 all the waterfalls that we saw in Iceland there was quite a few sort of three four that hardly even worth like stopping and taking photos <laughs> yes seven eight nine you're like this is a day trip out yeah. and then there was i think there was only one or two ten that star Which were very um, impressive ten ten rate highly highly rated ten star waterfalls so okay what we're going to do is actually rate some of these waterfalls here and the and our uh, we'll go through our, some of our ratings here so what do you think about this one it's uh, so it's one to ten yeah, yeah. We're, we're rating we're rating waterfalls one to ten okay so this is special because i can actually see two well, it's actually a, 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 two a dual cascade. So there's yeah. like a background one, which is really so tall. So that's a, that's a good thing. I think this, this is a like solid a six. No, this is a solid seven, six, six, seven uh, for me here as well. well. We always have to, when we're talking through these waterfalls, you've got to go with amplitude, like water flow, height, um, <laughs> how adventurous it is to get there. This is just in America. So of course there's a car park like right there. To, okay. to, well, uh, I don't see that. To, no, you don't see that. But then you go across the bridge and that bridge across a waterfall, very adventurous. So mm -hmm. also if it's special to us or if it's just sort of like a big tourist trap, all these different kind of things bring in uh, to this as well. So here we are in Norway. Um, this is the Brekkerfossen in Flam, Norway. Now this was really good. You've got to do quite a fun hike to get up to the top of that waterfall. Let's show it again. It's a classic waterfall. That's why one, these are one of the top waterfalls. That I really like it the way that it's not just like in the previous one where it's just one big drop. drop yeah, this is more cascade-y like. Pew, pew, pew. like. This is a cascade. Yeah. It's not a single fall. This is mm. a cascade. Mm. But, uh, but it's not as high. All right, let's move on here. Well, this is fountains. We're not going to rate fountains because I don't care enough about fountains. I didn't but rate the previous Oh, oh, what did you? What were you going to call it then? Uh, I would say six again. Six. Oh, okay. I don't think because this is good. Because it's a different. I'm going to go. I'm going to give this a six, but the previous one was seven. All right, fountains. This is the um, uh, the fountain of the planets in New York City in in the United States. Yeah, nice. Uh, I um, I always know this place from the movie Men in Black because that's where ah, yeah, one these, of the these little things yeah, over the back a here. spaceship of the alien and then it crashes into uh, <laughs> yes. into this thing here as yeah. well. Yeah, I visited New York a few times. This nice. is a good fountain. It's, yeah. Um, the fountains are good, but then the the, the main uh, the the globe is the thing which stands of out. Of course, of course. Next up, aha, here Ooh. is one of my favorite waterfalls of all time because I used to live. 
quite close to this. Yeah. This is High Force, which is the biggest waterfall in the UK. Um, by big, it means like the vertical drop plus the volume of water. There's other higher waterfalls, but they're kind of these little streamy things. Yeah, and I, and impressive. this is in Teesdale, where I used to live. And I actually lived for a while at High Force Training Center, which was a, a, an outdoor adventure center where you would do, um, uh, you know, like, uh, caving and hiking ah. and kayaking climbing and also cross-country skiing nordic skiing oh, was one of the places there and the the logo of high force training center was the high force so i have a lot of personal connection to this but also it's a really good and impressive waterfall it's a it on part is. of the pennine way we hiked there and had yes. a lot of fun yes. that was really good in fact we were there on this time as well it was a different yeah different that was day. the first time i was there wasn't it 2012 yeah yeah, yeah. so let's move on i this didn't rate it Oh, okay. What's your, well, what you are you rating? You didn't I rate forgot it. to rate you it just, as well. You just said it's impressive. You need to, you need to keep telling I this. think this is a, a yeah, it's a eight and a half. An eight and a half. I'm going to give this one an eight because it is, re for the UK, it's really impressive. And so I have much a, water. A, a big, and it's uh, three of them. You see it. Well, it's actually two in this case. Uh, there's okay. there's actually like two places there's the left or the right and then yeah like there is this tiny little yeah, thing over there but exactly. that's only that's only there in high water oh right this actually but it's this one this here video. is in high water and this one's always there and when the water gets really high it actually comes over the top it's very impressive in high water oh but look there's another the one do you see what? it there what there a little leather plate there on oh, the right this is this is <laughs> another one is it yeah not, not quite all right let's move on eight this is Liechtenstein. I shared this clip before when we were going through videos in order because this is the one clip that I have in Liechtenstein. Yeah. All right, moving on. <gasps> this is Iceland. Um, Gullfoss, meaning gold, uh, the gold, um, what do you call it? Uh, gold waterfall. Falls. Yeah, falls. Falls is the force, oh, which falls, is actually why, why high force is called high force. That wouldn't be what you'd normally call it in English. Um, you would oh, call right. it, yeah, but high force, it's just the anglicized version of foss Fall. yeah foss. foss yes like this is gold foss before we had the breakfast yeah. foss the interesting thing about this one is i think it is isn't that the one that actually sits between these um the tectonic plates no that one that's no? not this one no this is a very very big and it's impressive huge one. but it is part of the golden circle which means it's like one of the most visited tourist places i think we gave this one like a seven at the time it's yeah. a very impressive waterfall yeah, yeah i would give it i give it a seven just seven. because it's so huge so so huge yeah all right, let's move down. Here we are. Amsterdam. Yeah, in Amsterdam. This is just outside the front of the... Rijksmuseum. Uh, yeah, the Rijksmuseum. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. And it's a good <laughs> it's a good one. I really enjoy these programmed um, ones where you can run in and yeah. we don't know what's going to happen next. <laughs> really great fountain. Yeah. And we were there and I set up the camera. And of course, that kids were running around. So when I, this happens, I generally just keep juggling to see what the kids do. Yeah. Um, and this is a good one unexpected things yeah, are always it's quite fun. a long quite a long clip and then i stop and i really like this moment where i'm like i run out and then the kids come <laughs> out afterwards really fun moment nice there. all right let's That's move nice on one. oh another fountain. another fountain fountain yeah this is in um in istanbul yeah this is in istanbul it's really the, loud now yeah but we can always turn it down a bit i don't think it's i can't reach that Just okay well i'll turn it down a bit thank you I don't think it's too loud so yeah this was does anyone remember this is actually a connection this one's got a connection to iceland um, oh, yes. When we uh, when there was this uh, volcano went off in Iceland, the Eikafjallajökull Iceland went off and <laughs> it closed down European airspace. I was stuck in Istanbul for an entire week and uh, actually had a lot of fun hanging out with the jugglers there. Made a lot of friends. Well, jugglers who I already knew because uh, the year before I'd been to the Turkish juggling convention. Ah. So when they're like, "You're stuck in Istanbul for a week," I'm like, "Great, loads of people who I you was hanging know. out with six months ago, or eight months nice. ago, whatever it was, and I could go and hang out with all those guys again." It's a pretty big fountain. It's a good fountain. Yeah. It's an impressive fountain. Next up, oh. <laughs> this uh, what, <laughs> smaller. <laughs> Well, it's, but it's a good one. Look, but is, it, it, is this nice. a fountain or is this a waterfall? Is this a man-made waterfall? Because there is some fountaininess uh, to it. Yes, I mean they are creating the waterfall. It's coming a good up, sheet of water, water flow. Yeah. It's it's. I think it's a, a pretty good good fountain. Yeah, I'm not going to rate it as a waterfall, but it I is mean a good the fountain. fountain is less impressive than actually the waterfall yeah. they're creating. Um, just so you know that when I posted these, I was alternating between a waterfall day and a fountain day, a waterfall day and a fountain day. But okay. the way that it. it they get added to the folder as I go through them. It never you goes now go in. different order. Yeah. I see. So I that's understand. in. Uh, let me just say where this is. This is the Nupenfontenen, 
in Christian Sands, Norway, in uh, in two thousand and eleven. So okay. yeah, it's a good. It's a Norway is really good. Uh, actually, this is the place that I went to, and sometimes you're like, oh, I want to go and use the internet because you get off the cruise ship and you're yeah. like, get to find some internet. And so I couldn't find any cafes, and I was like, oh, McDonald's, and I just checked on my phone. I was like, yeah, <laughs> McDonald's has the Wi-Fi. So I went into McDonald's and I looked at the menu. I was like, what can I buy here? And Norway is so expensive that a ready mm. meal, I was like, how much is that? And I converted it. I think it was like 20, uh, it converted to 24 euros to buy a like Big Mac fries and Coke. And I was yep. like, mm, I can't do it. And I was going, well, I want to buy something. So I'm not sitting in here just using the internet for free. for free. And in the end I did, I just set my laptop up and just didn't use the internet. I was like, people in Norway have enough money. They don't need my money. They don't need 28 euros or whatever it was for me. <laughs> to get some mcdonald's all right here we go uh, another great source of waterfalls is yosemite valley yeah um i think did i share some videos of yosemite valley before i can't remember maybe think, this is yeah no i don't know oh, no bridges was before yeah, and bridges transportation and, no yeah. oh like it, we shared it in the first one when you showed all the did all I the share, places share some, yeah uh, share some uh, videos yeah so yosemite valley is one of those places where people say hey where's the most incredible place you've visited this isn't the most incredible place i visited but if there's some places where you go does it live up to the hype and i'm like yes okay. yosemite valley is one of the places that does live up to the hype. and because one of my favorite things is um is waterfalls there's got some good waterfalls we'll share some more later on as well that's the uh, bridal veil falls in the background back here as well yeah uh, and, okay and what's then, the rating um i I don't know, it's a long distance, but the, you really do get fun. very, very tall waterfalls. So yeah. each one of these waterfalls in Yosemite Valley, I pretty much give them like seven each just for height. It's really good. But okay. they are a bit too easy to see because you just drive into one of the most popular national parks uh, in the world, yeah. the most known national parks, and they're just part and it's of it's open views. there. Yeah. So Yosemite Valley is a 10 out of 10 visit place to visit, but the waterfalls <laughs> make it special, but they're just there. Like all okay. of these places, you just there's just trails going to them. Well, I would say six again. Okay, hmm? six. Yeah, let's hmm. give it six. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's a bit loud. This is the Petro Petrohue Falls in Chile, in the near the Osorno National Park, or in the North Osorno National Park. It's pretty good. Uh, lots of water comes down here. Now, I actually have another connection here because I went whitewater rafting for the <gasps> first time. I ever did whitewater rafting was in this river, not this time. Oh, it was wow. a few years before. But, um, but you didn't go down this? No, we didn't go down okay. there, just a different <laughs> part of the river. Um, but then a few years later, I was back in Chile in that same port, and me and a guy, we were hanging out on the ship, and I was like, hey, let's go over to this national park, it's fantastic. So we went back there, I shared a video of me on a horse, juggling on the back of a horse, it was on this same trip. Ah, and nice. one of the reasons why I wanted to go there was just because this river and the waterfalls, and I wanted to share them it's with, with uh, Gary, my friend, who had made So much the force behind it. Yeah, a lot of force. I'm going to rate these uh, six. Yes, six is good. Next up, we have a city called the City of Fountains. Oh. And the City of Fountains is, is Kansas City in uh, uh, in Missouri. Missouri? <laughs> yeah. No, I was going to say in Kansas. No, but there is a Kansas City in Kansas. And there's a, oh, sorry. I should flick the other way. So, yeah. yeah, they have lots of fountains around there. This was the fountain I decided to get a video of me in front of them. Loads of, everybody in there were like, oh, we're the City of Fountains, City of Fountains. Um, apparently Did they you? come from they come from places uh, like it used like one person was like hey I want horses to be able to drink and I want fresh water for people to be able to do uh, things like that so some and this the, the historic fountains have been moved around and this is okay. this is one of them it's how got, many did you vid visit when you were there like three because they're okay. not actually interesting fountains okay. it's not like <laughs> going should. to the Trevi fountain in uh, in, Rome. Uh, in Rome or yeah. the fountain of the planets no they're all kind of like municipal designed and funded fountains and uh, cool. founded. And again, I have this little kid because I had some clips with, with the little kid and without the little kid. And of course, the one I shared was with the kid who was uh, mildly not, interested. Absolutely not interested in at all. All right, next up, mm. we have this is actually called, let me get the mouse off the screen so it uh, looks good. Um, this is, which, what's this one called? A foss. This is this is in. Uh, I've lost track. No, we had gold foss. Oh, this is Selyan Selyalands foss. And uh, we, I visited there beforehand when uh, when I'd been on a. Uh, well, let me turn this down for the next clip. I'd been there before um, on a trip to Iceland, and then of course it's on the one. It's on like the main route, the big loop around the outside of yeah. Iceland. Yeah, there's the car um, park, and then you can walk around from the car park across. What so did we do in the car park? Uh, have a tea. 
no, we discovered that we had this little stool that you put out the back to be able to get in and out the truck that we were in. Was that after that? Yeah, we had, we had oh. accidentally uh, driven over it Oops. on the last place, and so we had these like, where's this, where's this stuff? And we'd we'd driven over this plastic thing and just smashed it together with the truck. No, but it's a, it's a it's a good, a very good waterfall. You get yeah. um, you can walk behind it. Yes. I actually have a video which I'll share later. Walking behind, you get the uh, it, it faces the sun. It faces yeah. like west, very nice. doesn't it? Rainbows. So when the sun is setting yeah. in the afternoon, you get these nice rainbows. Yeah. I'm gonna rate this. S uh, eight. eight. I'm going to rate it eight. Me too. Because you can go eight. behind it. And any waterfall yeah. that you can walk behind gets, great. gets a higher rating yeah. from me. All right, next up. This Ooh, is... Victoria Falls. This is... Or the... the what is it? It's called the Mosa Aetonia, which yes. is the smoke that thunders in the local languages. Ah, because you can see it from far away. Like the, yeah. the, you can see the like the landscape and then there's like this... Sm yeah poofs yeah. of white yeah. coming out of it. It just comes out yeah. of this ground. Now, it, this is an amazing place. I shared, I talked a little bit about this where we went, we went whitewater rafting there, not over the falls, but again, but you can't, we could never actually see the full falls because we were there in the high water level season. Yeah. Um, so you can only actually see a little bit because it's like two kilometers wide or whatever it is. And, <laughs> it's huge. You know, 400 meters high. Whatever, very wet. Meters. But yeah, very wet. So. Uh, oh, and this is also on the the Zambian side. Yes, we yeah. went on Zambian side. Yeah. Other people that on the group that we were with went to the the um, Zimbabwean side, but they couldn't see as much, and everyone destroyed their cameras. People's cameras just because this is how wet it is, and um, this is with a GoPro, and we packed all our stuff into this waterproof case. Yeah, and then uh, and uh, that was the first time we actually had the GoPro race, wasn't it? For that trip, we, no, I, I'd had it before, but yeah. it was yeah. it was really handy to have a waterproof Definitely. camera at yeah. this thing. I'm going to give this ten because yes. this is one of this the few waterfalls. Of the, it's um, like amazing waterfalls it's like a world renowned world. waterfall yeah. and it has rainbows and it has rainbows which is which is also right yes let's move on to this next one some fountains in paris, paris. and i do a 97531 and i very very rarely do tricks in this but, but <laughs> oh i even missed it yeah because it, it, uh, where is it um, oh, no, can, what you, can you make it play just bit with the space yeah no? no if i press space it disappears oh out. i see um so yeah uh there it is it's a uh, 97531 I, I missed again okay I here we go this time I throw and the walls up and down. Well, oh yes. Yes, there you go. And I think wow. I just wanted to fill the video in because the ta the uh, <laughs> thing is there. Anyway, pretty good fountains. These are ones which like move around. I think I can't remember exactly. Yeah. But yeah, some good fountains. They're in Paris. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah I know. Mean, I've been there. What? Oh, actually, let me call this. What, oh, let me see what these. Are. Oh, I can't look at this thing. Ah, here we go. This is called the Fontaine du Jardin du Trocadero. Fontaine du Jardin du Trocadero. Okay. Cool. Something like uh, that. Someone in the chat said, hello, Luke Burridge. Hello, Simeon Juggler. Hello. Well. All right, uh, let's uh, move on. Our next thing is... Um, Another fountain. This is a fountain, but I'm not doing a cascade in front of this fountain. What am I doing? A fountain. No, I'm not uh, doing a fountain. Uh, uh, a shower. No. I'm not doing a shower. Uh, a... Mm, I don't know. I was actually, and then I juggle a fountain. No, okay. I'm actually doing a, a wimpy pattern or a sink crossing pattern. So, oh, okay, but so that looks like, yeah, it looks like fountain no thing it's not might... fountains oh. is they don't cross at the top that's the definition of a fountain so there no, you to go. me it looks like that this is <laughs> in yeah um, it's in um i don't remember oh puerto, puerto rico. rico the plaza colon fountain in mayaguez puerto rico in 2011 there right. you go uh pretty good somebody uh, actually clever. maybe 2012 oh Somebody no. on the chat is clever. What? Wimpy. Yeah, wimpy <laughs> pattern. I was oh, actually testing, testing you, Liana. All right, let's move down here as well. Ah, oh, another Teasdale waterfall. Now, Teasdale doesn't just have high force. It's got some other waterfalls. And this is a place called Cauldron nice. Snout. You can't see it from here because this is the very bottom. It doesn't look that impressive. But this is actually the longest cascade waterfall in mm. the United Kingdom. So it starts and it go goes down rocks and rocks and rocks and rocks, like lots and lots of these falls as it keeps going down. Yeah. But it's but the water never settles in between any of these. So it's a cascade, yeah. a, a cascade fall and this is the longest cascade falls um in the uk and it's actually really high it's like you know it, it doesn't look very high there but it actually does lots of these steps down yeah um, unfortunately it's just good. above these falls is like the ugliest dam in the world this massive big <laughs> concrete dam but it, it stops oh. the rest of the river flooding mostly because this is like this massive catchment area where all the water like when the rain clouds come over the atlantic they all come <laughs> up the mountains and dump all, and the, dump rain all the water there on, on top yeah. of here so i would so. say this is um a seven uh, no, nah, for me it's like a, a, a six. Six? For uh, this view it's a six. It's interesting. It's more of like a fun place to visit than an, an impressive waterfall. It's quite wide and, it, you know, it does a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. All right, next up. Here Ooh. we are. 
is it's just some hot springs with some water falling some hot springs which is means you can hang out underneath it it's not a great thing but i'm now doing what's this what's the pattern shower yeah so this yes. is a shower this is a shower under a cascade in a hot spring so uh, this is in um hmm, where is this one this is in it, it I've, should I've be lost track this is down but here. it should be like here somewhere here that uh, yes, this is the old boiler. This is the uh, Caldera, Caldera Velha, the old Velia. boiler in the Azores in 2009. You can, you can tell by the uh, the quality of the camera that it was a long time ago in 2009 because <laughs> yeah. this is... Uh, I like all the moss around it. Yeah, it's That's beautiful. Really well, it's, it's really beautiful. warm. Like it's, a yeah. it's like some parts of it, mm. the water is really too hot. Yeah. Uh, the guy that I was with, John, he was at the top at one point. I was videoing him. He was like, like whoa, because it, it's really slippy up there. Yeah. And I was like, I God. almost videoed you cracking your skull oh, open God. down here. I'm going to give this a three yeah a three it's, although yeah. it was I a mean, fun day is, out so maybe if i'm gonna bump it to a four because for me like for, I say, for you, part of the adventure <laughs> but i didn't have that adventure so for me no. yeah three all right let's scroll down on the list a bit more here we go this is an another time in norway this is the vingel vingel vigeland park the oslo sculpture park <laughs> okay and this is a fountain in the sculpture park now a lot of those sculptures are pretty crazy and okay. this, but this sculpt, uh, this fountain is actually bigger than it looks. Weirdly enough, it's bigger than it looks. Oh, look at that. I do a drop. Uh, oh, no. What, what was I going to do? Here we go. Um, yeah, so it's bigger than it looks. And again, in 2009, so with the low quality camera, yeah. you've got to work really and hard to make this look good. That thing in the background is just a big tower like thing. It's a massive it's a sculptured obelisk, which is okay. remarkably um, penis like uh, in this thing. Remarkably. Yeah, yeah remarkably well, penis like. It's Palace shaped. Yeah, next up, this is in uh, Sheffield. Over when I was at the British Juggling Convention in 2014, they make everyone leave the site and go over to where they're going to have the gala show. And this was the day that we went over to the gala show. Nice. And I, Did your feet get wet? Uh, no, not really. I, I mean, I've been wearing these same shoes now for like 12 years. Not the same ones, but I keep rebuying the same ones. And they've got Gore Tex in it. So, nah, this kind of thing, my, my feet don't get too. Uh, too uh, too wet at all have uh, you ever stand in, st stood in one of those fountains and then get s got surprised by one of those water yeah, features i've like been wet all the time i've yeah. wet many times all right next up Ooh. this is a waterfall in fiji no, no. Uh, this is the annandale falls in granada, granada. in 2010 okay. and i just want to start off this again because you might not be able to you might not be able to see this but actually what happens here i'm juggling oh let's go back to the start here we go I'm juggling four balls at the start and one ball is between my oh, legs. Oh yeah, 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 I see it. Now and this that, is whoop. a trick I do in my show and can do yeah. perfectly every time. It's not difficult at all for me to do. Yeah. Unless my hands are very, very Slippy. wet and the balls are very, very slippery. So yeah. this took many attempts to bring me to get that. And then once I've done it, I'm like, well, I need to get this really cool clip. And I did um, like, I do like it that you do the big balls because they're actually really visible. Well, I'm not going to use uh, bean bags because yeah. they wouldn't be visible. <laughs> and also they, they uh, don't float and these float. Yeah, and I happened to have them in the bag, and nice. we went on this big trip up. So this was actually a really Sweet. good one. I this was going to jump from the top because some, oh, some guys really? were jumping from really oh. high up down into it, and I was going to do that, but by the time I was ready to do it, they'd gone, and I was like, ah, where did they uh, jump from? Yeah. Exactly where they were jumping into. Yeah. So I didn't do it in the end. But yeah, this I'm is good. It's a, it's, a, it's a waterfall that you can go behind well, not, and swim in. Behind, but no, you but can, you can, I can swim, swim in it. It's a really, so it was a really fun day out. So I would I'm, say it's an eight. Uh, okay, I'm going to give it a seven because seven, seven. it's a good one. Seven and a half. It seven wasn't and a half. that high. There wasn't that much water going over. Okay. It was just a fun day out, really, and a fun experience. And I didn't get to jump off the top. Maybe if I did, I'd give it an eight. But I'm going to give that a seven. Here we are in Brest, which is a city in, in France. France. And this is Whee! the... Uh, oh, let's have a look down here again. This is... Where are we? In Brest. I don't know. Some of the, these are actually more out of order than I thought they uh, were yes, going to they be. they are very out of order. Um so uh, i don't know france uh, there there yeah here we go there in the, the the fountains of the place de liberty uh, in brest in france in 2014 place, you were here with me we place de la liberté place de la liberté we did that yes we were there together yeah it was pretty I good remember. yep all right next fountain don't have much to say about this huh. ah this is not high force in the uk but high foss high foss high foss in iceland in iceland it means the same thing it's the high high falls the high falls yeah and this was one of our best days out in it iceland was. wasn't it it was so great there were hardly any people there because you actually would i mean it was more inland so you had to go with your uh, vehicle yeah with your four by four vehicle it's not on the drive. main loop yes. of the outside of Iceland. and then and then you left the road and then it was some really up ruggedy up the yeah. hill scary stuff and so there were not that many people there and then we hike we were actually at the top yeah and then we hiked around it and down yeah, up in this area there's a yeah. there's a like a little car park kind mm. of thing 
And so we hiked so, down. It took about an hour to hike all the way mm, down to the bottom of it. Yeah. And then we hiked up way further than this. Like, there's a way, at least a gorge goes up. There's actually another yes, waterfall another, like, another around waterfall. this corner here. It was beautiful. It was uh, so amazing. Uh, at the top, we were there, and the sun came out, and then there was this massive rainbow that yeah. came out. It was one of those ah, yeah. moments. There were rainbows everywhere. It was pretty cool. Yeah. And at the uh, and then, yeah, and it took an hour to hike back to the top again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was an incredible day out. Very, very wet down the bottom. It's, it's yes. higher than you think as well. This yeah. is like, what was it, like 97 meters yeah. high or something it's like this? Huge. A huge, really huge fall. This is an eleven, and and this was the one. This was the one waterfall in uh, Iceland that when we were there and we were rating waterfalls, a, a unanimous ten between the two of us. And I think you gave it eleven, but between the two of us, we gave it ten. Yeah, uh, that's really good stuff. Oh, I keep. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, oh, this is down moving. here, and ah. I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, I keep Scrolling pressing the button again. here. So, so that was high force, high force. All right, next up. Oh no, I've been there as well. Yeah. Okay, this is a, a well. Actually, this was listed. I looked it up on Wikipedia. This was a, this is the um, uh, what's it called? The in Singapore. In Singapore. Now I'm looking for the Singapore yeah. thing. Yes, it's called the Merlion statue. Okay. Um, because it's a merlion, it's a it's like like a, a mermaid. Sea, sea lion. No, it's a merlion. Mer oh, so. a, a sea lion is a thing, and yes. this is not a sea lion. No, this you're is right. a merlion. It's a lion it's with a, a fish tail. Top half lion, bottom half fish, and so uh, and it's called the merlion statue, mm. and it, it is a statue, but it's kind of a water feature as well. So I called it a fountain and included it in here. I somehow feel like this is a different type. There must be a different word for this kind of. A thing that shoots water out like that. I don't know. It's a fountain. Instead of a, a fountain, a fountain feels fountain. like it goes up and then fountains out. I think it just needs. This is like it's just a. Well, what a, what's a water fountain? Well, yeah, water fountains. Pop this up is, yeah, well. but this is more like a shooting. Anyway, here I stop juggling and then I see someone's wanting to take a photo or video uh, and, and I stop stopped. just before they got the camera out. So you juggle again. I'll often do this again. I'll often do an extra juggle just for the people and you can see them taking. Have you been on this? On this hotel in the background. Yeah, fantastic hotel. I, you, th there's, this is the one where there's a uh, a swimming pool along the side Ooh. here. You can't do that. Only people who stay in the hotel have access oh, to the swimming pool. But on this end is a viewing platform mm. and a. Oh, is it the other way around? This is the swimming pool and this is the viewing platform. No, either way. Yeah. No, I think this is the viewing platform. So I did go up to the top of the viewing platform and I tried getting a juggling video up there, but it's one of those places, times where you like, oh, everything like the the. The views, the views are good when you're looking out, but then if you want to stand in front of the view, it's it not a great look view. Like it. And this, this sculpture, like where your legs are now, or the background there. What, this? That, yeah, yeah, it's some big. Is it's that? like it's some big. Um, underneath, it's some entrance way into some auditorium kind of thing, and this okay. is some sculpture Looks thing. I don't know fancy. what it is. Fancy. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the Formula One track goes like around here. Oh, nice. Uh, cool. So yeah, there we go. Singapore, pretty good. This is the um, uh, the uh, Orido di Balano, the horror of Balano, which is next to Lake Como, mm. uh, and I visited there in in while I was at the um, uh, the Brianza juggling convention, and I had I had a car hire, so I just went up and explored that area, and I drove to the top of the mountain, and then down and explored these different villages, and this was one of the things that I saw there. And yeah. it's it's a waterfall, um, but it's actually it's, really good. It's an adventurous one because you pay like three euros to get in. It's like this out of the way, not in a tourist town kind right. of place. And so I just a, saw it a as gorge. a point of interest on the map. I yeah. quite like it because you can see the the, the water in the background, like there, this yeah. this bit, like here with yeah, the yeah, it's very deep. Like it's a very there. deep. Yeah, it continues there, like whoop. Yeah, and yet there's all these walkways and stepways. Nice. It's it's really it's a really fun uh, really fun place to explore. Okay, um, uh, I would still say this waterfall is maybe. The, the the gorge is a good gorge yes. experience okay this let's say one, four this one waterfall is about a four yeah. yeah all right next up these are some programmed uh fountains, fountains in, in adelaide this was actually ah. my last international trip which was only in 2020 at the start of 2020 when was yes. this uh this third is of uh, march. third of march last year when i was in adelaide oh i keep thinking that i was in in, in uh, australia and new zealand in february but it wasn't it was at yeah, the, it, it was, was march, the beginning of it? march yes in march. so yeah this is one of the last places that i went to um, where everything was smooth and I went there and I joined the cruise yeah. ship and I went out for the day and went to the Fringe Festival and saw some juggling shows and comedy yeah. shows and magic shows. Uh, met with John Udry, which was quite fun. Nice, that's I went, fun. I went all the way to Australia and hung out with a British juggler. Um, <laughs> next up, this is another Iceland waterfall. Iceland, yes. This was the Svartifoss, meaning black waterfall, as you can, for good reason, you can see it's called black waterfall. Yeah. And this has got some fantastic uh, these. Um, hexagonal um, basalt kind of things, these basalt columns, columns yeah, yeah, which is really good. And the um, uh, the uh, cathedral in um, 
in uh, Iceland, the, cath- the cathedral, uh, Helsinki in, Cathedral. No, Reykjavik, Reykjavik. not Helsinki. Oh, okay, Helsinki is the wrong place. Reykjavik Cathedral <laughs> has got like it uses this kind of design language, yes, or it is it inspired by this design, yeah. which is pretty good. And we actually drove a long way to get to this fountain, and in the end, we kind of regretted it because it was like a long way out of the mm, way, mm. and we wanted to see some icebergs in this ice lagoon, and mm-hmm. then we couldn't really see them because it, it was, was super the foggy. Was, and it then we drove all the way back, so we kind of wasted an entire day's worth of driving yeah. down the coast and back was... again. But this waterfall was worth seeing, and yeah. I'm going to give this waterfall eight because it's Ooh. a good waterfall okay. it's this this basalt feature is really yeah. interesting and is very famous and i really enjoy visiting okay it. i give it seven and a half. Oh, okay pretty good next up this is uh, uh in the akaba park fountains in akaba in jordan in 2003 now, been to jordan quite a few times and is this what's that waterfalls man-made waterfalls uh no i think this is definitely a fountain fountain yeah definitely a fountain okay so here's the thing it's water curtains yeah the water water curtains are different from a man-made waterfall i think okay so in the previous fountain where we had that yeah there was a also a fountain it was it was a fountain okay it was a it was a fountain it wasn't a waterfall i mean there are little waterfalls down in the bottom yeah but it's just a water feature in the cint- city center yeah, right. so what happens is when you go to akaba the only flights out of akaba that connect to international flights are really early in the morning so every time you arrive there <laughs> you've got to just stay in a hotel overnight you get off the cruise ship stay in a hotel overnight which allows for some really fun like day trips out because you leave the yeah. ship early and then you go go to i went to petra in jordan and mm. to wadi run twice some fantastic places to visit amazing a really I like world sometime. beating places we should do it we should just go a trip to jordan like hire a car yeah go go for go for some trips out and akaba is is worth visiting there's lots of uh diving there and stuff yeah well akaba isn't worth visiting but it's on the it's it's, it's a good it's, it's the a, place it's where you need to go place. to yeah. to go to places yeah. yeah or aman all right here we are back Ooh. in yosemite mm. this is another this is called the um this is called the Vernal Fall in Yosemite. This is actually, again, it's one of those waterfalls which is a lot bigger than you think it is. Like, it, yeah. it doesn't look well, like much here. But you can see by the, the, this is, as you can see by you, yeah, yeah. It looks like it was slowed down, but by you standing in front of juggling, you see that yeah. it is not slowed down. Yeah. So, it's just and a it has waterfall. a rainbow. It has a water- rainbow. It was difficult to get a good juggling video, and in the end, I was like, I can't be in the light. I'm just going to be the here. shadow. Uh, the, the, one of the previous days, I hiked up this trail, and it's fantastic. And then I went here, and the previous day, it was snowing, and there was snow, and you're hiking up the trail, pretty <laughs> kind of not dangerously, but you know, I was up there yeah. with a uh, with a with a. Uh, there is wildlife around. There is wildlife around. There's bears around there, <laughs> yeah. very much so. Yeah. And also, you just it's a it's a quite treacherous hike in the in the. But the tr- uh, one of the um, national park rangers had hiked up to the top and left footprints so okay. we could follow foot- can well I say we I could follow footprints I was hiking alone but like two other people and so the whole day in my entire hike I saw four people oh, wow so, no three other people and one of those people was a park ranger yeah. putting footprints so okay. people could follow the path That's if they nice. went there and literally three people did that hike and then the next day was sunny and then when it was hundreds of people I, I never managed to get I never managed to get to a place where I could with see it, with yeah, yeah. fewer than three people. It was <laughs> okay. in, it was incredibly busy. So I think this is a seven. Uh, seven. Yeah, it is good, but again, all of the all of the waterfalls in Yosemite Valley, none uh, of right them really there. get. Yeah, they're just right there because they, yeah. they, they all go down. They, the, all the waterfalls go drop down into, into the, the valley. valley. Yes, um, and you are walking through the valley, so and, you can, and so you yeah. can. There's like wheelchair access to all of them. I'm not saying that I don't want there to be wheelchair access. I'm saying if there is wheelchair access, there's only so much adventure or hiking or big trails that need need to be overcome to get there of course all right next up is this a fountain i think this is a fountain (gasps) good reaction there this is the geyser yeah which is the geyser that every geyser is called after that every geyser is, is named after iceland again yeah it took me ages to get this clip because I had to set it up, and you never know when they, they, they're not regular. Um, yeah. So this isn't. W- this is not on the trip that we went together. No. This is a previous trip you yeah, took. Yeah. I well, one of the previous trips yes, I took to one Iceland. One of the many. Uh, and when we were there, we didn't bother trying to recreate the shot or get the shot again because I'm like, it takes a long time because you don't see how long I've been juggling. No, I've been juggling for two and a half minutes, waiting for the random. gazer it's to go off afterwards. Yeah. So I'm juggle, 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 juggle. Yeah. Well, maybe not two and a half minutes, but like you know more than a minute it's and a half just waiting for the it's still a very impressive place and also the way Let's that the way that they do it is like these ropes around it but yeah. then people do get sprayed with stuff because yeah. people are Boiling standing in the wrong sh- yeah it's it's it sets up it's an amazing place yeah it's really good fun and, and then it's, it's so understandable why this is part of the tourist yeah. 
road. Uh, and then route. I'm, yeah, this is on the Golden Circle, that yeah. really impressive one. So, yeah. and that's it. And I look behind me, I'm like, oh, it's still there. But you know, it's it's a good one. <laughs> All right, here we are in Ireland. It, it, this is ooh. the um, the Talk Waterfall, otherwise known as the Wild. Well, Talk is translated into wa- Wild Boar. So this is oh. the Vil- Vildschwein Falls. <laughs> Vildschwein Falls. <laughs> yeah, Vildschwein yeah. Falls or whatever. This is beautiful. Also, really green. Yeah. And and the the water cascades down. This so is in a, County a, Kerry in it's Ireland. An interesting one. Um, I still would say this is like a five. This is like yeah, it's a, a good. It's it's it a was, nice setting. It's a nice. Li- it's a nice little waterfall for a nice little walk. Yes. It's a. Uh, it's yes. pretty good. All right, yeah. moving on. This is fountain. just a fountain. This I'm, I think I'm getting to the end of the fountains, and I'm like, mm, some of these fountains aren't as interesting <laughs> yes. as they, they Where could is be. This? this is the Ros- Rossio um, Square. So these are the Rossio fountains in Lisbon, oh. in Portugal. That's in 2010. Cool. It's it's a uh, Christmas. You see, that's a uh, Christmas decorations um, behind me. I'm oh, that is a Christmas decoration. Yeah, they're Christmas oh, okay. decorations. I thought it was like some um, light sculpture no, thing it, it around all, the column. No, <laughs> yeah, it, it all lights up. No, uh, is that around the column? Or, no, it I looks like. Oh, maybe no? it's around the column. Uh. I think it's. I thought it was in front of the column. Anyway, it's been it's a difficult while. to see. Yeah, it's difficult to see. Yeah. No, it is around the column. Anyway, mm. some Christmassy lights that mm. come up here as well. Okay. All right, next up, Ooh. we've seen Cauldron Snout, which is the top of Teesdale, or uh, top of Upper Teesdale. We've seen High Force, and now this is Low, Low Force, Force, which is some more waterfalls. And again, this is one of those times that when the when the water is higher, it looks less impressive because it gets washed out. Yeah, you don't see the the steps of the cascading. Yeah, th- mm. this is you know you, you got this two step. Well, and there's some more waterfalls down below. Um, you can you can kayak after these uh, over these waterfalls. Wow. I never did that, uh, but you can you can uh, do canoeing in the bottom. Nathan's kayaked over those before. Wow. Um, not when they were this high, but uh, this this place here <laughs> so is actually like a natural diving board. You can dive down in here. Okay. And this is where I broke the first, bu- the first time I ever broke a, a body in my uh, a bro- body. Bro- the first time I ever broke a, a bone in my body was oh. here. And uh, really? Yeah, yeah. I was just in here, and there's this. This is where you jump in. This is really deep here, and it, and this is all like this really, really oh, rock. Sounds hard so scary. Ground. Looks and so scary to me. Yeah, so I jumped in, and under the water, I just kicked, just kicked with my toe. But my feet were freezing because this is like really, really cold water. Oh, of course. And so I then spent the rest of the day running. You didn't even notice. On, I had I'd broken three, two. I think the two toes over there. My uh, oh, no. In my, in my right foot. And um, yeah, so and then the, only that evening, once I'd like you know it cooled off a bit, Swelling I was just more. yeah, it swelled, toes toes swollen up, and I uh, and I went to uh, and uh, I don't know if we went to the hospital for that one, but it was one of those times. So what I did is we had the I had some ski boots. I was doing some downhill ski. I got uh, some downhill skills. Okay, so I put, you the put ski them in boot and, on. and then you didn't uh, move your yeah, toes. Yeah, didn't really move my toe. And then mm. and then many other times we went out to Housteen Gorge, which we we uh, visited together. And I was going up and jumping into the waterfalls at, uh, at Housing Gores with like a normal shoe on one foot and then a ski boot, <laughs> ski boot. on the other foot. So, yeah, and oh, no. um, and yeah, so uh, yeah, two two broken toes at oh, this waterfall. Crazy. And somebody I'm, says hi. Hi, Victor Coco. Thanks for joining Hello. in with the chat. I know we've only had like ten to fifteen people in for the entire time, but, but that's uh, fine. Thanks for hanging out. Having some entertainment Is for ten people. Is this a good. fountain? Yeah. It kind of is a fountain. Yeah, it's trickling some water. But when I got this video, what I actually like, do what? you know this? We watched some of we watched some of these sciency videos. Yeah. And um, how is this effect called the um, the when it when the water is? Mm. What's the effect? Yeah, the the frame rate. The, the frame rate is matching up with the with, um, with the falling with of the, the water. Rate. Yeah, the, the flow the, flow. Um, no, it, it's just a Some frame rate coinciding with the the vibrations of yeah. the water. Yeah. What's the, how's it called? The flow, flow. It's mm. synch- synchronized. Synchronous flow. Synch- 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 synchronized mm. camera with yeah. flow thing. Anyway, it looks fun. It's not laminar flow. Laminar flow. Ah, that was thing. it. But it's not that. But it's not that. But, but it la- looks it, a bit like it. No, it doesn't. Oh. Because but people say laminar flow when they don't. That's what that video was about. That I know, I know, but it reminded me of flow. that video anyway. But. This what is in about that tree? I'm the, more impressed the by the tree. Some than... of these things, like the some, like the view in Yosemite Valley, I'm like, here's the view of the valley. There happens to be a waterfall in it, and some of them are like, here's a here's a city square. But I'm always like, the fountain is like one of the main features, you know. Yeah. Like this is like here. Sure, there's a, the column, but that fountain is like the main feature, yes. you know. Uh, what's let's find some other fountains. Uh, yeah, like this is I'm juggling in front of a fountain. Yes. Whereas when I got this one in Cadiz in Spain, this yeah. is uh, over on the uh, Atlantic coast of Spain. Yeah. 
Um, I'm really get, this is really a, a, a video of me juggling in front of a tree. Massive tree. This and the tree, tree is, is very, so yeah. beautiful. It's an amazing. Look tree. at it. This is in some you know oh, I love gardens. It. Oh, let uh, let me have a look here. This is in in. Uh, Oh, this is uh, this is video the thirty fourth video that I shared. I'm running short of fountains, juggling by a fountain in the Alameda Apodaca y del Marques de Camilus Garden in Cadiz, in Spain, in two thousand and nineteen. <laughs> I've been to Cadiz many times, and there's some really nice walks amazing. around there. I want a tree like this in my garden. Oh, the tree is amazing. Oh. The tree is amazing. Can look at it all day. I know it's an amazing tree. The fountain happened to be to in the same to shot to there. give some color yeah, and contrast. That's true. Um, Graham says lemon flow. Yes, but it. Good stuff. That's what <laughs> Juliana was trying to say. It was, but it, yeah, it, it is isn't, not. It isn't. Flow. Of course, it is not. But no. It, but here's the thing: there is some lemon flow. Like back up, back up here. No, that's not lemon no. flow. Some of the fountains, there is some lemon flow going on. <gasps> oh, 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 okay. oh, oh, oh. Let's go back off that one. Oh, it's so loud. <laughs> So scaring you. Some of these fountains will have some laminar flow going in there, but yeah. not this one. All right. Oh, what is this? Okay, so beforehand we're like geyser. Is geyser a man-made fountain? No, is it a natural fountain? So we have uh, natural waterfalls and man-made fountains. Yes. But then geyser, the geyser, yeah, or geyser in Iceland yeah. is a natural fountain because it's spraying water up. Yeah, this, and it is natural because nature does it. Yeah, from nature the does it. This bottom. is an unnatural waterfall. Ooh, so okay. hiking, doing a, a big trip, a big walk around the like the base of Gibraltar. You can do like the whole loop around of Gibraltar. That's the big rock. Uh, the G rock of Gibraltar. Yeah. And uh, down at Europa Point, which is like the southernmost point there, mm -hmm. where there's a lighthouse and some other bits and pieces, you have um, this waterfall. And I was like, that's a random waterfall. Yeah. But it's, it, it is a waterfall. I'd say it is a waterfall. But actually what it is, it's a, um, a desalination plant because, you know, Gibraltar needs water and oh. there's not... So they the, take the salt out of the seawater. Yeah, so they get the right. seawater, they take salt out of it. There are some places where they can catch rainwater there, but they don't. there's not very much there. Yeah. So this is a desalination plant. Yeah. And this is the, the, the water that they... Uh, that is leftover wastewater. Oh, however, okay. I don't actually know. I mean, it does look like a waterfall. It does look like a waterfall, but I think it's a saltwater waterfall. I think ah, that, that makes sense if this is desalination plant. I don't. To be honest, I don't actually know. <laughs> Let's move on. We've only got a few. We've only got a few places left. Really, really running short on fountains here. Oh, this <laughs> is. Uh, uh, oh, we didn't rate this. The previous uh, waterfall. The previous waterfall. Did we rate the previous waterfall? I don't know. I can't uh, remember which. Lost track. No, because no, we've we only found it. Oh, we uh, no force. Yes. Um, uh, seven. Six. Six. <laughs> six. Six. Okay, six. Yeah, okay, six. Uh, and this one I'm going to give... Is Three. 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 <laughs> well, it's kind of interesting because it isn't a, a it is, it's a natural one, but it is really but just is, an is, outlet pipe that's running down the side of a cliff. It's, if you don't say that, it just looks like a waterfall. It, it looks good. Yeah. All right. So, uh, this I mean, looks very what I said here was like pity juggling by, ball. look, the NJF, the, du the uh, Dutch Juggling Convention, was in Houghton in 2013. Yeah. And this was the only interesting thing I could find in the whole city that could feature in a juggling clip, <laughs> which is true for the city center. There's actually some nice buildings around the outside, yeah. but where we were, and you wanted a video clip. I'm glad we're there. not rating fountains. <laughs> yeah, fountain. This is a lot of like a fountain and art in a town. Well, you can see this is like the square. this is like this the, looks like the Rathaus. Yeah, it's like it is. It's like the, one of the little squares there that they have yeah. in Houghton. Right. Oh, another one. So this is actually Yosemite <gasps> Falls in the background, huge. and this is me juggling on the uh, four mile hike, as it's called, wow. um, or four mile trail. Yeah, four look mile how trail. It's slow it falls. It, that's re that's a really tall waterfall. I think that's one of the to the, the shortest waterfalls in the uh, in north america that oh. is, is that one so it's very impressive and you okay. can uh, you can you can hike up to, to the section here at the bottom yeah but this is one of the better views of it it's, it's this is the waterfall that when you're down in the bottom you can get moon bows like when the the moon is out yeah and i actually saw oh. one i couldn't get a video or photo of it well it's difficult how you it was uh, pretty tricky yeah uh, i nice. tried but it couldn't work so i is saw that, a moon bow is that a nine or a ten no, it's like a it's like an eight for me an eight? because yeah, it's it's a backdrop waterfall, yes. and when you visit it at the bottom, you can't really see it, and okay. when you're there really far away, it's very tall. But a lot of these very tall waterfalls, I still um, give it a nine. Okay, but you weren't there. How do you rate that a nine? When it you didn't looks have... amazing, it is it is pretty good. Here is I think one of the weakest uh, fountains. <laughs> this is the look uh, at this bit in the middle. Fuente Central in Puerto look, Madryn in yeah, Argentina in two thousand nine. Uh. Yeah, it's, it's one of those fountains <laughs> where they just went, mm, uh, water feature? Okay. <laughs> okay, what shape is it? Round. Round. And it has a square in the and, middle. And, uh, and a yeah. square 
box, a square, yeah, it's a square concrete box. The, the box. Thing here. Is that ugly? All right, next up. Oh, this it's is me. Celian's Foss again in <gasps> Iceland. We I had a video behind. from the other direction. And this is me juggling mm. behind it. Again, we get the GoPro art. That's where you get like the fisheye view. Yes. Looks really good fun. Oh, amazing. Uh, Just look at the sky. The, the sky in Iceland is oh, so beautiful. So amazing. It's so blue. It's, yep. I've never seen a more blue sky than yep. that. It's so, so amazing. Let's go. Next clip. We, we are back at the Nupin Fountain again in Kristiansand, Norway, remember? Where's the middle falling? Well, that's why I shared the other one. Oh, uh, oh no, when's this one? This was in 2015. For some reason, I put 2011. To be honest, I think I just copied and pasted the text when I shared it on Instagram. <laughs> so this is actually a few years later. Yeah. And yeah, that was turned off, but then there was okay. kids playing in it. Yeah. And kids playing in fountains is always all, fun. Always makes a good backdrop for uh, and it's, a juggling And it certainly video. looks more fun than the one in, where was it? Previously. In, in, the, in the, the, the boring oh. one. Yeah. Well, I was yeah, this, this one, one here. Yeah. Well, I wasn't sure if I was going to uh, rate, uh, I wouldn't uh, share this one. Mm. But I was like, no, it is actually a, a different view of the same of the same waterfall. Yeah. It's worth sharing again. We didn't rate the salient force from yeah, behind but, but we gave this like a nine an eight or nine before oh yes because you could go behind it we went yeah. to go behind yeah, it true. all right next up this uh, is the uh yeah, yes. t cascade falls in new zealand in 2020 this was part of my loops in new zealand for two weeks waiting for news about flights home um how coronavirus, uh, how coronavirus pandemic am i uh, joining another cruise ship <laughs> turns out no and this was like one of the last tourist days that i did i was like oh, i'm just gonna find some nice walks so i found I some love it. lakes look at all around. the moss yeah it's beautiful it looks so soft and look I, and ferns i think i've never been to new zealand but what i find most impressive about new zealand is yeah. the ferns well this was one of those weird things that as i was driving out of wellington i hired a car and i was driving out of wellington for the first day i was like oh this really reminds me of you know this part of teasdale oh this really <laughs> reminds me of this part of iceland this really <laughs> reminds me of this part in when i once visited in the united states this really and i was like oh no actually all of these things combined is make is what makes uh, new, new zealand. zealand like new zealand yeah you know? yeah um so yeah so beautiful it, it really is cool and this is an easy trail it's just called the cascade falls loop and you just little track that you mm. do a little walk out and i did that little walk however it is just maybe like it is a, it nice, is a nice trickling waterfall. it is nice I'll give this a four it's for waterfall because it's a nice na beautiful the waterfall. nature around the it nature around it. yeah it, four, it? Is good. four is good all right I next like up them. and here is our, our last clip the last clip of fountains and this no of cascades versus fountains this is a in Teesdale again on the same not the mm. same day that I visited those other places actually the same day that I visited Cauldron Snout mm. there happened to be an art installation where Teesdale is famous for its waterfalls and its landscapes and stuff but also all of the buildings have got this whitewash this lime yeah, whitewash yeah. uh, on top of it so it's very recognisable I mean lots of places in the Yorkshire Dales have the same kind of thing yeah. uh, and so as an art installation someone was projecting videos of waterfalls onto, onto, buildings. onto the buildings and this is that's and what is this, this one is and is this high force there was th there was five barns with waterfalls on them i think this was actually cauldron snout oh okay projected but i also That's went to funny. some other places with uh, there there was another one which was uh i don't know the, some of the other waterfalls there there's like four main waterfalls in teesdale yeah well five Projected but one of them buildings. is really difficult to get it's like one of those background waterfalls yeah. there's some cliffs <laughs> and you're like what's that and oh, it's like it's oh, when it gets icy you know like when it gets minus Ooh, 20 degrees or whatever it freezes it is, up freezes up and mm. it's like one of the only ice climbing places in england there's quite a few places <laughs> in scotland yeah but that's one of the few places of course that was 20 i was going to say 20 years ago that was 30 years ago when it like, was last freezing yeah. over was are it? we going to rate this one no because it's just a bit an art installation <laughs> but the, in the background because there's no power up there there was generators oh, running no. in each of these places you're like oh they could have put like some speakers and so we could hear the waterfalls as well but no yeah. the soundtrack was really the generators mm. all right that's it there was actually uh, one of the one of the found there was a few other fountains for example this one from a video i shared already there is a fountain oh, yeah. in that but that is that is almost is not a fountain not pretty good fountain it's, but it's that's, look in front of the cathedral and it happened yeah. to have a long a big fountain yeah and, and there were some others there's a video that i have in santiago in chile and there's some um it was early in the morning and they'd put some uh, sprinkler system on to, to water the oh. grass and i was like hey <laughs> is that system. fountain <laughs> all right then that's it nice. i'm gonna switch back over to the webcam and we can talk now here um i hopefully people enjoyed us talking and sharing some stories about waterfalls and, and cascades cascades and again it's just sharing bits and pieces our top waterfalls in the end were victoria falls yes um high foss high force yes 
Uh, I think those are our yeah. main, main three. Have you ever been to uh, Niagara Falls? I have been to Niagara Falls, yeah. Why don't you have a video from that? Because I visited in 2004. Because oh. the, mm. the International Jugglers Association Summer Festival was in Buffalo, uh, which is quite near Niagara Falls. It's like half an hour drive. Niagara Falls? Niagara Falls? Did I say Niagara Falls? <laughs> and uh, Niagara Falls is, was the, the first place that I went to in America. Like, we flew in the night before. To, we were meant to be going up to Buffalo, but our d- planes were delayed. So we stayed over a night in a hotel in in Boston, and then the next day we flew into Niagara Falls. And then there were some people that was like, "Hey, we're going up to Niagara Falls. Do you want to visit?" It's like, "Yes, I will." So I got in the car with them and went up there. Why I, we you? went to the place, Buffalo Wings. I told you this story before. Buffalo Wings. Yes. Uh, uh, the wings from Buffalo with some <laughs> hot sauce on them. So we went to the Anchor Bar. Was mm. it Anchor Bar or Anchor Place? Where we got there as well. Um, hey, what are people saying? Uh, disappointed you didn't get footage of waterfalls in Israel. I'm sure you were in some at the Israeli juggling convention. That is true, Scott, but I started this project in 2009 of me juggling in front of different things. And the last time I was at the Israeli juggling convention was 2007. So invite me back. That's so Invite long me ago. back. Invite me back and <laughs> I'll get there. Hint, as well. hint. <laughs> Sid said, added a few places to the two visit list. Yes, yeah, so anyway, we did go to Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. And then we crossed over the Peace Bridge, Freedom Bridge, probably Freedom Bridge or something. Peace Bridge, I don't know. <laughs> and we went over to the Canadian Bridge. side and then we were there and we were looking back because that's where you, you get, get the best. It's the views. same kind of thing with uh, Zambia and Zimbabwe, yeah, it's, it's kind a, it's of like, where do you want to watch so from? So looking back that way and mm. it's an amazing view. And then we kind of, we, we went down a section, but we didn't go, there was a boat that you can go up to the, the mist, then Misty, Misty Martha Misty, or yeah. whatever it was called. Misty Martha. I don't know, it's got a name. Okay, what was the more more comments? Uh, we'll have to invite you back. Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's right, Scott. Um, so the, the one the the, the mo- one of the most memorable things for me visiting Niagara Falls was <laughs> I, I saw fat Americans for the first time. I've never been to America, and of course the fattest Americans don't leave America because th- they can't fit on planes. And I, that sounds like I'm being mean, but these people it's were. A- yeah, it's as a, as a European visiting the United States really for the first time. Fat. This really stands out. I yeah. I had, had the, the same, same experience when I visited in 1997, and it's like. <gasps> and these fat people were so fat that I was like, I was in awe. But they were so fat that this Japanese family, this guy, this Japanese father, got his his three kids or two two or three kids and his wife to stand in front of the fat Americans, and he took a photo of the fat. Americans with his family in front, and there's I'm like, wow, this is like one of the and seven Niagara wonders Falls. of the world, a natural one of the world <laughs> behind. And he's they're not taking photos. I mean, of course, they would have taken photos there, yeah. but instead of taking photos in this direction, they swung the camera around and they stood. They stood there, and I was like, this is a photo worthy moment because these Japanese people have never seen people this fat before yeah. outside of maybe and uh, uh, sumo wrestling. And it, I was laughing, and, and the fat Americans <laughs> didn't notice because they were literally off, uh, like ordering waffles from this waffle stand there and yeah. i was like oh this is it was in canada but i was like welcome to america it's yeah. like one of those real welcome and to america moments. just to to get us correctly this is not fat shaming this is just Ooh. europeans seeing people yeah. in these dimensions for the first yeah. time my eyes and were open to the obesity levels of people in america yeah. on the first it was my yeah, first was, day in america even though it was in canada it was, but it was my first day in in america i was like wow there are fat people in America, which are bigger than anyone I've ever seen, not in America, and I thought, and I thought those people didn't exist. I thought those people were only featured in in television shows and documentaries about the most overweight people in the world, and they weren't. They were just walking around like normal. Mm-hmm. And me, the European in America for the first time, and the Japanese family were like, "This is incredible." Yeah. Uh, so that's one of my main memories, weirdly enough, from the Ni- Niagara Falls. The, the waterfalls are great. Um, other waterfalls that are really good. Mm-hmm. Um, that uh, oh no. Fountains that are really good. The best fountains I've ever seen by far were the the fountains at the base of the um, Burj Khalifa in, in Dubai. Right. And there's the Mall of Dubai. Yes. And there's the um, Burj Khalifa there. We, and then we, the fountain. We have the, um, uh, like a, a swoopy shot on the Apple TV screen, oh, yeah, screen service saver, where yeah. you, they come up. They're huge. As featured. As and featured. Musical, on the... musically. Um... Yeah. So what they do, they, they go there and me and a guy, Mike Doyle, who I've worked on cruise ships before. Again, that same kind of thing. Our flights were the next day. Mm. They put us up in a hotel overnight and we're like, hey, let's go out and explore Dubai for the evening. And I'd already done the Dunes tour another time that exactly the same thing had happened to me. I was like, well, I want to go I want to go to the uh, Burj Khalifa. 
yeah. uh, and to see the see the fountain. There's, actually, there's there's a really good waterfall in there, like this seven story waterfall inside the mall. It's like the biggest it's the what? biggest shopping biggest shopping mall in the world. Or okay. it is. And there's some incredible uh, fountains on the inside, but then the fountains on the outside. And um, so yeah, it's like the Bellagio fountains in uh, Las Vegas, but like four times the size and twice the height or whatever. And we were there like, hey, we're gonna head back to the hotel or go for some food or whatever, but let's see this program. And we watched it and you know, I took some photos and then the music started and the fountains went off and this incredible five minute piece, 10 minute piece like that, uh, five minutes or whatever it was. And we were like, oh great. And then without even talking to each other or changing our plans at all, we just hung out and waited 15 <laughs> minutes until the next one. You just and it went up again, it a different again. program. And we we're nice. like, oh, yeah. amazing fountain. And then nice. it stopped again. And then it started again like, yeah. <laughs> like this. And, and we stayed there for like five programs. So we Good stayed there for about an hour and 20 minutes, hour yeah. and a half. And we thought we'd just watch it once and be like, oh, we've seen these now. But no, uh, it's entertaining gen by itself. genuinely entertaining, genuinely oh, yeah. impressive nice. fountain display. And again, didn't get any videos there because it's one of those times where you're, like, you're setting up, but every yeah. edge of the entire place is just full of people. Like, yes, like, difficult you know, to see in like the two, footage. Two then. layers of people yeah. watching this kind of thing. I remember we were on a trip somewhere at some point yeah. and there was a, a fountain and a display uh, with music and color as well. I don't know where it was. Don't remember, sorry. Was it in, uh, It'll come in back Poland? Us. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. So, oh yeah, no, it was. It was, was in, it in it Stettin. Yeah. Stettin. Yeah. In in Poland. In and it was one of those things where like, oh, this is the fountain, and it's just you know shitty. Uh, um, uh, it was not great. It wasn't great. It was yeah. a it was a shitty. It was a little local tourist thing. Sometimes, sometimes those are really good. Like the yeah. clock in Prague, you're like, oh, what's this going to be? And then it comes out, and it's a little thing, and you're like, yeah. And every that. time, at every day at 12 o'clock, like a massive amount of people. Maybe not now, but generally. Scott Seltzer says, the most impressive fountain I've ever seen was in St. Petersburg at Peterhof. Yeah, that is actually oh. an impressive fountain. Have you got that one? Oh, let's go. Shall we, should, should, should should we give this a, Should we give this a go? You I'm going to go to... in St. Petersburg. Yeah, let's turn down this video. I'm going to yeah. go over. When was I in St. Petersburg? I know I was there in 2009, say? Probably. Now we just need to know when roughly in that was in Sw yeah. that's Sweden. So okay. it's St. Petersburg is going to be close behind. It's that it'll be on this same trip. trip. Sweden, 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 Sweden. Sweden. Uh, ah, it must have been around here somewhere. That, no, that's no. Helsinki. Oh, that's Helsinki. Sweden, Helsinki. I thought it was part of this trip. Oh, here we go. Uh, is the do I have a video no. of a fountain? Is here it? it is. Where? Oh no, that's <laughs> a bridge. <laughs> that's it's a rabbit. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a rabbit. Oh, you can the the the, the video is too small. Weirdly enough, this is the this is the old uh, uh, low quality video. So, oh no, this is it. Is there a fountain? Ah, it's in this place anyway. Oh, okay. No, I didn't get a video of it. This is Cars. me get, finding some different things. I was there, and actually, I was talking to the camera, and I was like, oh, there's there's gonna be a. This is this is the place where the fountain is, I think. And and I was waiting for everyone standing around waiting for the ca uh, a cannon to go off. Oh, <laughs> you were surprised by the cannon. A big group of people behind me here waiting for the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the cannon to set off. Oh God! Okay. We're just here in time to go off. Set the cannon. And this big group of people behind me here waiting for the cannon. Oh. <laughs> You know what's gonna happen. Yes, but it's know? loud. You know <laughs> I don't understand. like loud things. <laughs> All right, I think we're done. Anyway, wow. it's it's here. So the fountains. I thought, why don't I have a video of the fountain? Ah, oh, this is so much shit here. Is it here? No, that's just the skyline. Oh, it's around here. Ah, oh, I'm sure I had a video of the fountain. I don't have a video of the fountain. What's this? What is this? I don't know. I video. What are they it. doing? They're throwing sticks. Oh yeah, it's some stick throwing game. Why is there lemon tree playing? That's <laughs> really random. No, 2009. <laughs> anyway, some, uh, some bits and pieces. I don't have a video of me with the fountain. It's around okay. here somewhere. Anyway, some Petersburg. All right, um, that's it. I'm gonna let's let's wrap it up there. That uh, um, random attempt at uh, finding. But we did find the cool one cool fountain in. I did manage to make Juliana jump three times in a row with the cannon going off. All right, so the next series we've done bridges. We've done. Uh, waterfalls versus cascades. We've vehicles. done boats and vehicles. Mm -hmm. I did every country in order. 
What's the next one? Uh, I don't know. Is there another one? I, what I think I might do is actually take a break from doing this for like until March. And then from the 1st of March, I'm going to start again with a new International Juggler series because I've got uh, some ideas. Me juggling with animals and different oh, yeah. animal clips and stuff like that. Really good fun. I have some animals in mind already. More water. There's quite a few videos of me in the sea and in water and in rivers, which are not waterfalls, but it's just me juggling while wet could be a series <laughs> another one that i was thinking of is um statues versus uh, sculptures you sculptures. know sculptures, versus sculptures statues. Versus sketch, statues. but some of them are really boring so I'd, they'd have to be interesting ones mm. i'm not sure another one is me juggling in the same place multiple times like you know the fountain you saw me in the fountain and then back at the same fountain or yeah. you saw me at this waterfall and like i have other video clips of me at gulf ross like well, maybe we've got one with with you as well so uh, it could could be possible for me repeated visits to uh, the same place like here i'm in kadith by this tree and mm. then here i am again two years later in the same place and you can see me age in uh, fast forward <laughs> do you want um, people to write in the comments what they would like uh, to see? maybe if anybody watches to the end of this video this is mainly for the people who are really uh, who are who are the luke and juliana <laughs> super fans who want to yeah. like the 10 people who hung out in the chat which is uh, really <laughs> great all right so i don't know what the next series is going to be could be animals could be water in me luke is in being water. wet luke gets wet uh, it could be um, sculptures and sculptures versus could be repeated places or it could just be tall buildings because i've got lots of them it could just be the fronts of churches i don't know uh, i need to find them but find um, a theme find a theme like i say i've got many 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 other clips still to go still to share or it yeah. could be just random clips with not me juggling but walking around pointing the camera at myself and then uh, a cannon going up. I don't know. It could be. <laughs> all right, that's it. Right. I think that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for all our Patreon supporters. Um, Thank you so much. Yeah, in fact, a few of the people here I recognise their names as as uh, Patreon supporters. Um, Sid, I think Scott uh, was a Patreon supporter. Is still maybe was in the past. I don't know. Doesn't so, matter. Thank uh, you. Thank you it's, very it's much. Any anything that you yeah give because uh, the German government's only going to keep giving me <laughs> money for so long. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, patron supporters, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye.